cocktails, canapes, dinners, Emma Watson, Raph Simons, Naomi Campbell come out to party. London, London is in high spirits again after a downhearted September due to Queen Elizabeth II's death. A majority of cancelled events have been rescheduled and kicked off during freeze week, where cocktail parties, store openings, and celebratory dinners have all resumed and even brought together the different creative industries into one room. On Tuesday evening, the capital city had its busiest social night since pre-pandemic. Danish designer Stein Goya began the festivities by opening the doors to her first London store in the heart of Soho. Irish DJ Annie Mac entertained the crowd with a live set as the store filled up with guests sipping cocktails and chewing on candy floss. What a surreal feeling it is to finally fling open the doors of our very first store outside of Denmark alongside our dearest friends, said Goya. At Onitsuka Tiger's flagship store on Regent Street, the brand showcased the work of New York-based artist David Mr. Star City White as part of the Tiger Gallery Project, a program that aims to support creativity and craftsmanship internationally. Luxury department store Selfridges hosted two pop-ups at once. At one side of the store, Reposse collaborated with the Robert Mapplethorpe Foundation for a second time on jewelry inspired by the objects in the late artist's career. Meanwhile, at the other end of the store, the corner shop was dedicated to Prada's new re-nylon collection, Reactive, exclusively launching at Selfridges. The green triangles on the garments glowed in the windows as a subtle nod to the brand's sustainability goals. Next door to Selfridges, Boss brand ambassadors Naomi Campbell and Anthony Joshua opened the doors to the brand's new Oxford Street flagship store with rapper Dave performing a small set to mark the occasion. Art critic Antoine Sargent celebrated his birthday with a house party at Matches Fashion's London Townhouse 5 Carlos Place with a special performance by his friend Miles Freedom, a Toronto-based DJ. His friends Tyler Mitchell, Jeremy O'Harris and Raphael Pavarotti were in attendance. Angelina's provided the night with Hokkaido milk buns, tempura fritters, lobster and crab donuts, miso aubergine, dauphinoise with parmesan potatoes and polenta with soy braised mushrooms. A cake was specially made for Sargent by Violet Bakery. At Burlington Arcade, a shopping arcade in central London, New York label Veronica Beard's co-founders, Veronica Swanson Beard and Veronica Miele Beard, staged a fashion show showcasing their fall 2022 collection, followed by an intimate dinner backstage with socialites such as Poppy Delevingne, Laura Haddock, and Clara Paget. On Wednesday, Off-White turned St. John Smith Square, a Baroque church all blue for their third collaboration with churches. British DJ Benji B curated the live performances of the night by selecting CKTRL, George Riley, and Yousef Days. Guests included Labyrinth, Ramla Ali, Letitia Wright, and Amelia Gray Hamlin. Prada orchestrated the most sought-after party in town on Thursday for the launch of their new fragrance Paradox. The night was commemorated by Emma Watson, who made a brief appearance on the night. She was joined by the likes of House of the Dragon actor Millie Alcock and Will Poulter, who is